And like, we're back with more of this shit. We almost have the clock up. But like, yeah, in the last part, I, I forgot it said hold A to continue wave save. I thought I was going to continue right away, but like, I know this game is unlimited continues, but no, it just put me back at the beginning because I forgot to hold A. So yeah, it looks like this will be a two-parter. But hey, at least I'll get to the stages easier. At least I learned, at least the first attempt I learned some of these stages. I st even in the second attempt, I still don't expect to beat this game. Where's the, where's the little child? Oh, come on, come on. Are we, I think we got an extra life up there. Alright, get the gun. Get the gun. We're on wave two. None of it's confusing that it's select basically to start the level where it's one of those games like select and start completely reversed. I could have been playing any Angel of Grace event for the Super Nintendo, but no, I decided to play like one of the worst ones. Gun. Another gun. Why does Indiana Jones need to carry more than one fucking sword or gun? Why can't he just use the same one? Yeah, the first one I didn't even get to show the later levels, but like, yeah. The game isn't too bad until you get to stage 9, I think it is. Because, like, yes, there are some flaws with this game, but, like, um, it's not like, I mean, Mindscape made this game, and, like, uh, LucasArts basically designed the arcade version, but no, like, uh, I wouldn't say this, like, is bad as, say, like, the Terminator from the NES, or another game Mindscape made. I'm never, pl I'm, I don't want to fucking play the Terminator game on the channel. That game is absolute actual dog shit. More swords. Again, why does Indiana Jones have to use more than one fucking sword? Why can't he just use the same one? Okay, wait till that pull the... I, I thought I waited for it to get out of the way, but no. Yeah, we're losing some lives. I think, yes, yeah, we get another life, but uh, at a sacrifice. Alright, wave three. I want to see how quickly I can get through these levels. Well, I have to save as many children as possible, but I want to see how, many, how pretty quickly I can get through these levels. I think it's this level that juice the bat. I think it might be wave four also. And I thought B was attack, and I jumped in the fucking lava as a result, and no one up for me, unfortunately. See, like, have- I don't understand NES games like B is jump and A is attack, like, do- like, they should, like, when, they should've used, like, Super Mario Bros. as, like, the ground standard on how to design a platformer. I don't even know what this game is, it's like, um, this game either wants to be a 2D game or a 3D platformer, so basically, like, uh, yeah. Basically, you get, you get elements of both. Well, I gotta remember, I gotta remember to hold the A button, otherwise we're gonna be here for 10 hours trying to beat this game. Yeah, we wanna go on the minecart at the top left, I went from the failed run.
Use the gun. Get the blue key. At least I remember the blue key locations this time. Here we go. There's another child. What does he get uh, down? Left. So there's a child. I don't know what these arrows guide you to. They, they, yeah, they apparently guide you to the right. There's a red key, which we could use that, I think. How many bombs do we have? Uh, we have 29. Go to the minecart. I meant to switch to the whip. I'm pretty sure I think the red key can only open the uh, minecart door, and like the blue key can open either one. Come on, you. I know, I know snakes are in Ian Jones' kryptonite, but in this game, spiders are his biggest kryptonite, or bats. Because, you know, I'm basically playing a poorly, I'm basically playing a poorly designed game for your amusement. There's an indie life. It's like, I want, I really want to get to stage nine at least because like when you get to stage nine, the game goes from like mildly irritating to like actual bad game design, like one of the worst games in the NES. The made it to stage nine is actually a factor of why I think this is one of the worst NES games I've ever played. Okay, I want to go to the mine cards. Here we go. Should, I think we should get out of this level. All right, wave five. We should use the bombs. And it's the same music that plays in the whole game. Because the music does play in the movie, but only in one scene and the credits. It's basically like the Ghostbusters NES game, you know, like, uh, basically constantly playing, like, the Ghostbusters theme. Which, that game's actual dog shit, too. I've played that one, too, as well. I just want to get a red key. Maybe I can get out of these stages easier if I can get the red key early on. Not if I game over. I just can't remember the whole day. Any life. Get the bombs. I want to see if this kid. Uh, okay, red key. What? what? Great beginner's trap right there. That is a fucking great beginner's trap. You get one on one of those things and they push you right in the fucking lava. Go to the minecarts. Get more weapons. Cause I 
I learned from the first playthrough. I am starting to kind of get used to this game's mechanics and how it plays. So yeah, I think the red the red one can do the red key can basically unlock the key the door in the minecarts and uh the blue one can unlock either one. We just gotta find the fucking door. We have a hard time finding the door last time we played this level. Alright, there's the blue key. Sword. Something happened. We got hit by the bat. Let's get a. Uh, let's get the bombs. The bombs are saving grace in this game. And I missed the I missed the whip timing. All right, come on, come on. I want to go back to the damn minecart. All right, there's the door. We just need to find a way to get to that door. No. Okay, we get knocked in the lava. Look at that. We're just gonna keep getting hit by the fucking bats. Okay, who the fuck's throwing those rocks, those boulders? Alright, wave six. This is as far as we made it in the first run. We just gotta remember to hold A to continue. Alright, thuggies, no. I want to see if we can. I, I think whenever we get to these uh these normal parts in the save, we're just gonna try to see if we can find the red key. I thought I hit that. No, okay, no, I didn't. How the fuck are we supposed to? Never mind. I'm not gonna go for that. It's all it is. It's just for a. And I should uh not. I should have just climbed down the fucking ladder. I want a damn key. Up. Does that tell me where the fucking key is? I'm just gonna go to the minecarts. Maybe the minecarts will have a key. We can get the blue key at least, that should be fine. That's not the blue key. I think these are just for points. Get the one. I miss out on the one up, sad me. What's in that, uh, kid? Look at these minecart thuggies. Okay, no key. No key. Okay, give some more bombs, because we ne we're gonna need them for stage 9. And stage 10, because... I've never made it to stage 10, but I've heard stage 10 is even worse than stage 9.
We'll be lucky to even- We'll be lucky to even get past stage 9, let alone stage 10. And again, we get knocked in the lava. We only have two lives left. That's last life, so I gotta remember the whole day. Alright, whole day this time. Alright, we, we whole day to continue. Do I still- do I still have my weapons? Okay, yes I do. So you basically get unlimited continues as long as you hold down the button. So that I didn't learn the first time. Can I just make it continue, yes or no? I have no fucking idea. What the- Okay, I'm just gonna get fucking looped, because these- The conveyor belts are probably the most annoying things about the early stages. Come on, you bat. Get away from me. These kids have a fucking key so I can get to stage nine quicker. You know, do snakes even make an appearance in this game? Because I think they do in the later levels. Any life? So it says to go right, but I want to see if any of these kids have keys. I also want to stock up on weapons, because we're going to need them if we make it to stage 9. Alright, bomb. Wow, um, watch that kid have a key in it. It has the key, except we miss it. We have to go in all over again and get the fucking key, yay. I wanna get out of this fucking stage. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm kinda losing my mind right now. I just gotta go back to that area with the thuggy, with the uh... Where did I lay the bombs? Looks like we're continuing again. New life. I have to go back to the uh, other area. Try see if I can, I'm gonna try to see if I can get. I'm gonna try something a bit more risky because I don't know. I don't remember where that. I don't even remember where that blue key is. Yeah, it looks like we're doing the stage. We might be doing the stage over again. Yeah, last life.
I have all day. We die. We instantly die, everyone. We slim tickets. In your life. If I game over again, I'm just gonna give up on getting to pass the stage. Look, I'm gonna sort of straight in the fucking lava. If only the jump- this is not the game that has good jumping controls. No. How many hits can any last? Um, yeah, looks like we're not getting through this stage. Like I said, the game isn't awful until you get to the later levels. But that's last life. I'm game over again, I'm just gonna call it that. That'll be basically a two-part series of me fan at this game. Yep. So, yeah. This was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom for the NES two-part series. I did not beat this game, so I'll see you guys next time.